going to finish it with the Eastern White Pine beadboard. And that's the other nice thing about using the wood. It's wood. You know, there's nothing else like the look and the feel and the when people walk in. It can be painted, but for certain areas like this, it's nice. It has characteristics that you can't get in a lot of manufactured materials. Okay. I'll hold this here. Now, this is the way we're doing it, right? Yeah, just make your end flush so it looks good for the audience. And I won't let them know what's going on in the back here. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, put one in the bottom. Yeah, good. That just helps to keep it. We're just shooting this in with finish nails. That's all I would do on the interior anyway. Um, it's protected. You don't need uh, you, you don't need stainless or galvanized. If it's inside an area, if this were out on a porch, I'd use other fasteners, stainless steel fasteners, to make sure they don't rust or anything. But inside, we're just going to be shooting it on. And for the most part, blind nailing it, just shooting up right where the tongue and the groove meet so that we're not going to see it unless it doesn't work. Yeah, right on the, yeah, that works. And you can set the depth adjustment on the, uh, on the gun to make sure it does sink in. Oh, I'm talking to them. I'm just watching what you're doing. Everybody's seen this. It's very common. Edge and center bead. Um, and a number. It, it it's, it's has two different finishes. A, a bead board on the front and on the back it's beveled so you can use one side or the other um, depending on what you want. That's very popular. I've used a lot of this and when you see The plastic come out, this is what they're, for the most part, a lot of times, this is what they're trying to mimic. Another type of Wayne's coating, Eastern White Pine EWP number two, goes together, gives a nice profile to it. And again, the back, different profile, a beveled edge, so it can be used one way or the other, although I don't know why you'd want to put this on the inside edge. Um, just all sorts of different finishes, different mills that they have available. Um, they go on very easily to de decorate the inside. The green does not have to look ugly. I've seen a lot of people just do certain things because they thought they were being green and they think green has to look utilitarian when something like this is exactly the opposite. But you get the idea here. It's very simple, very easy to do. All right. Make it flush with air. Got it. Just hit it there and here. You can charge for that. You can charge more money than for doing a regular straight ceiling. You can charge a lot of money for that. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> because it's very easy. The next thing after that, and I did, I did it, um, I did a clinic on it about three or four years ago, is when you have barrel vaulted ceiling here and another one coming in here and they intersect. It's a little bit more different. It's like going from cutting a regular straight roof to cutting a hip roof or a valley roof. It takes a little more thought, but it's not that difficult. You saw how easy this is and how quickly it goes up. For a little extra time, if you have two hallways intersecting, you can do an intersecting barrel vaulted ceiling, a groin vault it's called, and that's very striking. And there are even less people that can do that, so you can jump your jump your uh, price up that much more 
So after we do this, we get the whole thing finished with this beautiful wood, the grain on it and pattern. The homeowner calls the painter in, <laughs> he painted white or something in there. That's what kills me about some of these finishes. You can get this pre-finished, right? You can get it pre-finished, pre-primed. If I were outside doing any of this, um, like I had mentioned earlier with the siding, when you cut the end grains, you want to make sure and prime the end grains because that's where it wants to suck up moisture, if there's any moisture. We're going to be pulled up through there. On the, this is what we have on the job site. Just put a little paint in there, latex paint. Keep this on the top so it won't dry out. After we cut a bunch of them, hold them all together, and just paint the, paint the edges, flip them around, paint those edges all in a gang, and put it back. Doesn't really take that much extra time. It's foreign to a lot of guys, but it solves so many problems. It prevents this from moving. It's really the correct way to do it, and it prevents a lot of problems in the future. A little tall for you? <laughs> do you need a ladder? Stool? <laughs> Stool. 